does being on Six? Real Housewives wow. of Orange County feel like another lifetime to you? Not really. I mean, sort of in some ways because I was, you know, married and I didn't have children. I'd won. I'd like half of one because she was a little baby. Um, but like in a lot of ways, it feels like it was yesterday. It does? Yeah. Uh-huh. What like – what do you take away positive from that experience? So – the weirdest thing for me when I was on the show initially was um, it was after I filmed the first season and I was kind of watching it back and I had all these fans, right? For the first time in my life, I was a public figure. And what I took my, – my main takeaway from that was that I was authentically myself on television and I'm a normal person. And people liked me for me. They liked me for who I was at the core of who I – uh, was and then all my weirdness and all of my normalness and everything that there was to me they liked me for me and that was so powerful because I learned to be more comfortable in my skin and with celebrating whoever whoever I was for at the, you know at that time that moment in time and it it was like really cool to know that I could that like others should be that way too um but it's difficult to, you know, celebrate who you are and to live authentically. But that's what that show taught me, isn't it? That's probably not the answer you were expecting. No, mm -hmm. it isn't. So what, like, did it help you gain confidence or just like... I think so, because I think, I think it helped me gain confidence because I was able to just truly act as who I was, Con like always. And I, I think I always did anyways, but... After that first season, I felt really good about it. You did. Uh-huh. Are you shocked? Because, look, a lot of people, especially now with what Housewives is, like a lot of people don't act themselves, right? Like they come on yeah, with an agenda. Like, social media is taking over. And so like streaming and everything, it's not what it used to be. No, it's, it's not. No. I mean, everybody, like they know that this is, you know, going on a reality show can give you a platform that um, I have right now. It's nobody's going to get nine hundred thousand followers these days. Nobody. It's, just not, it's not how it happens anymore. But everybody wants it, and so they're all trying. They're trying to get it, but like the bubble has bursted. You think it's different? Oh I, yeah. Was yeah. it hard to come on? Because like you came on, you say you're authentically yourself. Look, when people think of your reign on or your time on Real Housewives of Orange County, look, the one thing they, you know, think of right away is, you know, Brooks, cancer. You know, you were very adamant about the fact that he was faking cancer, yeah. which he was. Mm -hmm. Like, was that hard as a newbie? You know, we have this OG Vicky. She's beloved by so many fans. Like, did you ever say... You know, I need to protect my job. I, I can't – you know, you were going up against an OG. No, I didn't think about it. Like, I didn't watch the show. I had watched it, but it was, like, sporadic. You know, it was, like, you're, when you're, like, channel surfing kind of thing, you, like, stop on one because, like – when I would watch it, it was really kind of before streaming services. And so yeah. it wasn't on demand or anything. It was just like channel surfing. And so I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I'm, I'm not a big TV watcher. I'm more of like a documentary kind of girl. And so um, I did not think anything of it. I wasn't going on the show to try to build a brand. I wasn't trying to preserve a career on the show. I wasn't trying to secure my season two on the show. I did not give a flying fuck. And that... I think helped like the authentic Megan really come out in season one wow. and two and three. I didn't give a flying fuck. No, you didn't. No, you really didn't. Right. Because I mean, I would imagine like you come on as an OG, you're thinking like to say, you know, I think people play the game now, you know, like this I do is too. And, and like, they're not, they're smart to play the game because they do have a career to preserve. I mean, you know, you make a, you can make it into a moneymaker, and, um, but that, my husband had a lot of money at the time. I, I'm not married to him anymore. And I think I would be a different version of myself if I went on today versus when I went on originally. You do. Yeah. Because now I'm, um, I'm a single household earner, you know, like I'm the only one bringing in money for my house. So I'm going to do what it takes to preserve like whatever income I'm, I have. And if that income includes a reality television show, you better bet your bottom dollar I'm going to mind my P's and Q's. So you think you'd be like a less authentic version of yourself now? Probably. I'd probably like start fake drama or, you know, like um, try to produce some stuff where like, I don't know, some kind of like 
exciting shopping trip or, you know, like um, some sort of activity with my children that like wouldn't necessarily be authentically me, but no one would know. Maybe they would feel it like through their intuition, but nobody listens to that anyways. That's a good way to put it though. You know, because like, right, like you were authentically yourself. You had a husband who had money and now you would want to hold on to the job. It's interesting. I never thought about it like that. Yeah. Do you watch, you don't watch the OC at all anymore? No, I've watched, I have watched it this year. Um, I'm not up to date, but I'm close to it. What do you think of, you know, they brought Tamara back to quote unquote save the franchise? I mean, it's it, it's uh, it's unfortunate. The franchise is shit. And um I don't I don't love it that franchise as much as others because it's not as aspirational as it, you know, used to be. But that's also very relatable and I think reality television has moved away a little bit from the aspiration and into just the relatability. And so I think like you know, as a, as like a reality television culture, we're in this massive shift, and the OC happens to be like an original um, television show for reality TV, and that unless it changes drastically with the times, like you're not going to have the same sort of reaction to it today as you would 18 years ago. Why do you think the franchise is shit? It's kind of trashy. It's changed, right? It's forced. Do you think Tamara has saved it? Like, do you, how do you think Tamara's return? Do you think Tamara's doing a good job? I do, but, like, I think it's produced. Mm-hmm. I think she's producing herself, and I think she produced herself in the past, too. And, like, I love you, Tamara, and don't kill me for saying this, but, like, um, but it's not, this is not unique to Tamara. Um, and I, I need to put that out there, too. Like, I can watch it, and I know Tamara, I know Heather, I know... You know, I've – who else? Oh, Gina, I just had dinner with her. Um, and it, Emily, it, it all feels produced, all of it. Shannon, yeah, it all feels pro- – like, look at them. You get it on reality TV for long enough years and you end up, like, changing your body and staying – You everybody wants to be locked in time, including the house, Real Housewives of Orange County as a franchise. They want to be locked into time. Well, we're not 2005 anymore. And right. like you, you can lock yourself into that 2005 as much as you try with plastic surgery and Botox and fillers and, you know, chasing the sun, but it's not going to, it has to shift. Do you think, you know, listen, we have New York has been rebooted. Do you think the OC should just have a total overhaul? No, it's probably going to get canceled. That's you think I'm, so? Mm-hmm. Do you? It, it's like hanging, it's, it's hanging on, but... It's hanging on. Uh, I think that that could be one. It would, I don't think it would get canceled because I think that would be a bad look for Bravo. Uh, 